Hey, this is Michael. And this is Ricky. This is Real World Science. There are species in the world that we depend on more than we think, but for some, the entire ecosystem depends on them. They are a collective. They have thousands of workers and drones. They scour the land for resources for their hive. This frightening menace that covers most of our world is the mighty honeybee. We as the human population do not realize the capability of the honeybees and how much we truly rely on them for simple necessities. The honeybee is home to nearly the entire world. They spread across the continents native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. Near the 1600s, bees were introduced to in North America and now spread throughout the entire Americas. Honeybees are found on every continent except Antarctica, so their biomes are a vast variety. They inhabit every ecosystem that contains flowering plants capable of pollination. This enormous collection of biomes the bees can inhabit highlights their biodiverse population. The honeybee is formerly known as Apis mellifera and is one of the many species of bees. Bees are special because they only eat honey. Honey is a mixture bees have evolved to create that they use as their only food source. To make honey, worker bees scout the flowers and take some of the pollen and nectar it has. As they go to each flower, they inadvertently fertilize flowers of the same species. And the more bees, the more seeds are created for plants. To get bees to find flowers, flowers have markings in ultraviolet which bees can see. So as the bee flies around, it can identify what kind of flower it is and go there. The more plants there are, the more food for the first level consumers, who then pass on this abundance of energy up the energy pyramid throughout each ecosystem. The honey itself is a recipe tens of millions of years old. Honey never goes stale and can be stored forever. Even honey stored in Egyptian mummy tombs had honey from 3,000 years ago that we can safely eat today. The bees use a special process to convert the nectar they got into honey, which they store in their hexagonal cells in their hive. Their hives are either above ground, like on a tree or cliff, or on the ground in a shrub. Honey bees are mainly female. The queen bee is a larger female bee whose sole purpose is to produce eggs for new bees. Fertilized eggs become females. Workers, housekeepers, new queens, and guards. Unfertilized eggs have only one chromosome. Females have XX, but males only have X, and are male clones of the queen. These males are called drones, so bees do not really have fathers. Drones only live to mate with the queen and die. With hundreds and often thousands of workers all moving about, you might think it'd be hard to organize them. But with chemicals called pheromones, bees can express to all the others with these special smells for alarm, food, mating, and other meetings. But in some cases, pheromones aren't enough for a bee to convey her message. For some more complex communication, bees dance. To tell where and how far a food source is, for example, a bee will buzz and dance around to show the other workers where to get food. But why are the bees so important? After all, they tend to sting people and pets. Without them, there would be a significant reduction in fertilized flowers, meaning less fruits and seeds, and the whole ecosystem would fluctuate and hopefully stabilize at a much lower level. And anyway, honeybees are mild and won't attack you unless you instigate them. Without bees, only insects and butterflies could pollinate flowers meaning not only nature would be in chaos, so would we. The crops and other food we get from, or because of the bees, would be all but gone, and we'd have much less colorful diet. Food like honey, bread, apples, oranges, grapes, all would be reduced to almost nothing without honeybees. Already, honeybees are disappearing. Out of nowhere, many colonies simply die for no apparent reason. This is called Colony Collapse Disorder, or CCD. Scientists, farmers, and beekeepers are struggling to find out the problem. Is it pesticides? A disease? A parasite? An ecological change? No one yet knows, but if we do not soon, the honeybee could possibly go extinct. Even though we haven't destroyed the honeybee's habitat, something is killing them one colony at a time. Bees fertilize our crops, so no corn or wheat or sugar, no fruits or juices. Cows and other livestock depend on plants for food, so they'd have to eat only grass, and there would be less of them too. We might just have to eat seafood if we can't carry CCD. But as long as we have the mighty honeybee, the whole world, man and nature, love their work they do for us.